I know this is a weird video idea, but I think it's pretty awesome. If you like these knives, then you more than likely are gonna love these fragrances. Let's check them out. So, if you're into the walk and talk action of a slip joint, you like that, that slip joint walk and talk, you like the, the smell of your leather slips, you like watching that leather age over time, your knives patina, they kind of get that classic uh, timeless look to them. You probably like a nice cigar at the end of the night. Um, you more than likely uh, wear leather boots and have a leather wallet. And you know, these types of guys are, are guys that have been around the block more than your sister. You know, they're, they're survivors. And like I said, you know, they, they probably like a nice stogie at the end of the night, right next to their little short glass of whiskey. Maybe, maybe not. But if this sounds like you, somebody who likes the slip joints, you know, and like I said, the classic look, you are probably gonna love Replica Jazz Club. This stuff, is, well, the Replica itself, the, the, the brand, they try to take memories and put them in a bottle. So this is supposed to smell just like a 2013 Jazz Club. But it is absolutely amazing. I freaking love this stuff. So basically, it, it's, a it's a sweet tobacco woody fragrance. That's basically what it is. Um, I'll break down the note breakdown, but it also has um, rum notes in it. So it's supposed to be cocktails and cigars. So, but when you think about tobacco, it's not gonna smell like a, an actual like cigar smoking. It's gonna be more of like the leaf, it's a note. So, and this has a lot of tobacco in it. Um, it's really good, it's super masculine. Now, the top notes are pink pepper, Neroli, lemon. The middle notes are rum, java, vetiver oil, clary sage. And the base notes are tobacco leaf, vanilla bean, and styrax. So, like I said, it's a sweet tobacco, vanilla, woody rum uh, fragrance that is super masculine and in my opinion is absolutely a masterpiece. I love this stuff and I truly think you will too if you fit the bill of everything I already said. Now, another one that, it, now this one, because the other one was a, a tobacco fragrance, right? This one's a leather fragrance and it's a damn good one. Coach Platinum, you can tell it's platinum because of the bottle, but Coach Platinum is a woody, leathery fragrance. It has a little bit of sweetness, um, but it's a small amount. You definitely won't pick it up from the start, but as it dries down, it gets a little sweeter and sweeter. Kind, kind of like Replica too. Replica does that a little bit too. Um, but it's, um, it says it's a fruit, like it has fruity uh, notes in there. You don't really, I mean, it's like, like maybe like pineapple or lemon or citrusy notes, but it's definitely a masculine fragrance and it smells, in my opinion, like, like sweet suede with, with some woodiness to it. The notes are pineapple, so that, that'd be the fruity part, pineapple, black pepper, juniper berries. The middle notes are cashmere, sage, geranium, base notes are vanilla, leather, sandalwood, and patchouli. These are all fantastic notes for a men's fragrance. And this one is an absolute masterpiece. I freaking love it. It, it. To me, it kind of smells, just to give you a little bit of an idea, it kind of smells like you're getting into a brand new car with brand new leather with all the wood grain around you. Um, you know, it kind of has that, that vibe to it. Next. <clears throat> so the next one is for the Chris Reeve guys. Now I'm gonna pile in a couple other guys in this genre. The Chris Reeve guys, the Hinderer guys, the Strider guys, Medford guys. Uh, you could even go as far as saying the Herman guys, the Cohen Negariuses, the Oz Rosies, all these knives. Usually these are men that love their country. They love their freedom. They know what real hard work is. They, uh, they love good quality tools that are not going to fail them in the time of need. If you are in love with these knives, or if you like any one of those knives, you will definitely like this fragrance for sure. And that is Mansara 
Cedric Boys. So this is another Mancera fragrance. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, the note breakdown makes you think of it a little bit different than it is because, uh, you know, j just when you look at it, but it's a woody, it's, it's got a light, a light sweetness to it. Like it's super light. You probably won't even pick it up because it's got a heavy citrus, um, opening. So it's citrusy, woody, a little fruity, leathery, and it's got like this, this pineapple um, plant-like smell. And, and I mean this in the best way possible. Remember, everything I'm naming are just notes. So they're all blended together to make a masterful fragrance. And this is a very popular men's fragrance. Um, this is a fragrance that most men absolutely adore. In fact, it is very similar to Creed Aventus, which is a $400 men's fragrance that is bought like water. Like men freaking love it. So the top notes are Sicilian le lemon. Like I said, it has like a uh, you know lemon top note. Sicilian lemon, black currant, bergamot, some spicy notes. Then the middle notes are fruity notes, patchouli leaf, water, jasmine, the base notes are cedar, leather, sandalwood, vanilla, white musk, and moss. So it does have that mossiness in there. Um, it's a very masculine fragrance. It's a man's man's fragrance. Uh, it, uh, the, 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 the fruity note is probably pineapple, but it's not like candy pineapple. Like, so don't think candy. Think about like the actual plant itself. These are real oils, and this stuff is high quality. The sprayer is really good. It's got a magnetic top. High quality fragrances from Mancera. They're a great fragrance brand. I personally love Mancera. So, and also just so you know, a lot of fragrances are pretty much made for certain times of the year, whether it's cold and things like that. And if you look on the screen, I'll make sure I show a little bit of that so you can get kind of an idea. Regardless, you can wear them anytime you want. Let's be honest, you can wear them anytime you want, but this is just kind of what they're made for. Now, like I said, though, if you're into any of those knives, you will definitely like that stuff. I promise you, you will. Um, next. But just in case, you should always sample stuff, you know, because, um, you know, people are weird. And let me just let me just stop the guy right now that's leaving me a comment. Just really quick. I just want to save you. I want to help you. I really, I'm serious. I want to help you. Don't leave the comment. Don't leave that comment because... All you're doing is telling everybody in the comments that you're the stinky guy. Don't do that to yourself. I'm trying to help you. You can stink all you want, all you want, but you do not have to announce it to my comment section that you are the stinky guy. So stink by yourself. Uh, <laughs> next is, oh, fixed blades. If you're a fixed blade guy. So if you like, whether it's on the body, in the boot, on the hip, neck knife, doesn't matter. You know, if you are into fixed blades and you are going to, and you're a man, you have to be a man too, let me be clear. So if you're a man and you like fixed blades, no matter what kind, you will love Savage EDP. It is a super masculine fragrance that's actually extremely, extremely popular. Um, in fact, just to give you an example of, of how good this stuff is, smell wise um it's probably been the most bought men's fragrance um in the past few years uh because of how good it smells and because the, the the ladies that smell it love it on their man and things like that now it has been played out a little bit because of that but if you're not in the fragrance community you'll never know that and you'll never run into anybody wearing it so it doesn't matter but that's also why it's so amazing now, I actually tested Kara on this. I had 20 different fragrances laid out. She got to smell them all, and we narrowed it down to the best one. And in the end, this is the one that won. So this is fresh, spicy, citrusy, amber, musky. It has some lavender, some herbal notes, um, soft spiciness, some vanilla. Uh, let's talk about the, the notes. The notes are bergamot. The top note is bergamot. <laughs> the middle notes are... Um, Sichuan pepper, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, lavender, star, anise, anise, I don't know how to pronounce that either. Nutmeg and the base notes are ambroxan and vanilla. So ambroxan is one of the most popular notes in men's fragrances as far as for women. Meaning like the, the fragrances that women love the most 
usually in most cases have a heavy dose of Ambroxan. Women love Ambroxan. So this is an Ambroxan fragrance and a guaranteed winner for you. Absolute fire. Next, Civivi, you know, not just Civivi. Let's talk about like the, the, the budget knives that are great. The great budget knives, the knives that it's like, I don't, I wanna spend as little amount of money to get the best I can. So you're not trying to sell out a lot of cash, but you wanna get a lot for your money. You know, you maybe like the Civivis, the Sen Cuts, the Kubis, the, the Kaisers, things like that. So if that's you, then you will definitely like Nautica Voyage. Now Nautica Voyage is, when it first came out, it was a lot more expensive, but it's been out for years. Since it's been out for a while, it, the price is very affordable, but what's in the bottle is a masterpiece. So you're getting a high quality fragrance for little money. Now this is super mass appealing, very, very mass appealing. It's hard to dislike. It, um, it's actually, probably my most uh com my most complimented fragrance and i say that because i've worn the longest this actually is what got me into fragrances was this fragrance so it is a a summertime fragrance though just know that it is a summertime fragrance so the not the top notes are green leaves apple the middle notes are lotus mimosa the base notes are musk, cedar, oak moss, and amber. I know that doesn't give you much, but and it, it left out melon, and it does have melon in there. Sometimes fragrances will leave out some key notes, and they definitely left out. It, I say it's somewhat of like a cucumber fragrance, um, but it's melon. That's what's in there. It's some sort of melon. So it, it's a, a fruity, sweet, uh, green woody fragrance. Um, it, it has a little bit of floral in there, but the florals mixed very well. It, it's a great summertime men's fragrance. That's what I'm saying. And, and when you spray it, man, you get lots of comments. I've had men stop me. I've had women stop me. When I first got it, when I first got it, I went into the fragrance place and I asked the three ladies that were working behind the counter to grab me the fragrance that they loved the most out of the whole store. All three of them grabbed this. I said, bet. <laughs> That's the one, right? If all three, yeah. So it's really, really good. And it's super, super affordable. So now, if you're not into the melon, right? If you don't want the melon type of fragrance, maybe you want something a little bit more versatile. That is a summer fragrance. This one kind of is too, but in my opinion, this one you can wear anytime, anywhere. I actually say this is one of the best office fragrances and gym fragrances, and that is Versace Pour Homme. So Versace Pour Homme is a very affordable, but very, very complimented and high quality fragrance. It is, it basically to me, if you really want to just know what it smells like, it smells like clean linen, clean linen and fresh shower gel. Like you just jumped fresh out of the shower and you got clean linen all, that's kind of what it smells like. So that's also why it's very mass appealing because you know, if you walk into an office wearing it, nobody's gonna be off put. You know, you're, you're gonna smell fresh and clean and that's the beauty with it. Now I even say it's one of the best gym fragrances. So it is very, very good. It, the top notes are lemon, bergamot, neroli, and Rose de Mai. The middle notes are, um, I don't even know what that is, hyacinth, <laughs> cedar, clary sage, geranium, and the middle notes are tonka bean, musk, and amber. So basically, like I said, it smells like what I said. It's super fresh, super blue. Blue means um, like fresh shower jelly type uh, fragrance, men's deodorant type smells. So it is a, like I said, it's more for the summer, but you can pull it off any time of the year just because it's super fresh. Next is Benchmades, the Benchmade guys. What are the Benchmade guys wearing? Well, I got you. The, and if you like Benchmades, you know, maybe you're an officer, maybe you are a firefighter, maybe you're just a, a normal guy who works a, a nine to five uh, in blue collar work. Doesn't matter, because if you like Benchmades, you will like this fragrance, and that is Sauvage EDT. Now, we, earlier we talked about the EDP, this is the EDT. So the difference is concentration. So EDP stands for Eau de Parfum. There's one more ahead of that, which would be Parfum, but the EDT is Eau de Toilette. So what that means is this is the lowest concentration. 
But the thing is, is that when you start changing the concentration, the fragrance changes. And in a lot of cases, you'll get an EDT and a Parfum, you wouldn't even think they were the same line. Maybe they have some hints of being, you know, the same line, but they're very, very different. These two are very different in my opinion. But the EDT, <clears throat> it's a fresh, fresh, spicy, amber, citrusy fragrance, woody, musky. Um, again, this is an Embroxen fragrance. We talked about Embroxen, right? So the top notes are Calabrian bergamot and pepper. The middle notes are Sichuan pepper, <laughs> lavender, pink pepper, vetiver, patchouli, geranium, elemi, and then the base notes are Embroxen, cedar, and labdanum. Now, like I said, super masculine, very woody. Uh, it does have that fresh spicy. It it very much smells like, like a men's sh shower gel, a men's, you know, if you ever got like an actual man shower gel, it, it has that type of smell to it. So very popular, very mass appealing. Everybody's gonna love it. It is like that and, and girls especially seem to, to you know, they, they tend to flock to it. Um, a lot of them get that for their men, so. Um, next. Spiderco, Spiderco, man. Ooh, I had to get something good for Spidercos because the Spiderco guys, maybe I haven't been talking about the guy, who, what type of guy you are. I should have been doing that more. So forgive me. The Spiderco guys, they're the guys that care about the steals and the heat treat. You know, they, you know, more than anything else, they want to make sure the most important part of the knife is the most important part and the best and the most well done. So, the guys who like Spydercos in many cases are steel nerds. They're guys who really like the steels. Um, not saying they don't like everything else like ergonomics, action, and locking mechanisms and geometry and all that because that all plays a part too. But they, they definitely are, are looking for quality for their money and they're willing to spend a few more dollars to make sure they get that. Now, this fragrance is not expensive but in any way, shape, or form, but I think... I'm positive. If you like a, if you like spider coats, you're gonna freaking love Alexandria Game Time. Now, Alexandria Game Time is a a mixture between two fragrances. We just talked about Creed Aventus, right? So it's Creed Aventus and Baccarat Rouge 540 mixed together. It's like they had a baby, and that was intentional. They literally took the two fragrances two inspired fragrances and mix them together. And that's what you get here. So it's basically, it has some sweetness in there, um, a heavy dose of sweetness, a heavy dose of sweetness, um, some woodiness, um, <clears throat> a good amount of woodiness, pineapple, some apple, um, some lemon. Um, I don't have the note breakdown, but, but I know it has all that in there. It, it's really, really good. And it's just an absolute beautiful fragrance. Um, I can't get enough of it. Um, I love Creed Aventus. I like this more. I truly do. I truly, and that's $400, you know, to get this much of Creed Aventus, it'd probably be like 150 bucks. This is 40 bucks just to give you an idea. So this is very affordable. Um, you might even be able to find it cheaper, but the bottle isn't high quality. That's the thing, you know, with a lot of the really good quality fragrances, you know, the bottles are, you know, magnetic tops and stuff. They're, they're high quality. This, they said, we don't care about the bottle. We care about what's in the bottle. And what's in the bottle is very high quality. And I got to say that for all the Alexandria fragrances that I've tried, they've all been like that. They've all been very high quality fragrances in the bottle. And this is one that if you like Spyderco's, trust me, trust me, trust me, get some of this stuff. It, you, 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 you'll, you'll probably go and buy a second bottle uh, or buy the big bottle because it is that good. Now, if you love Riat, the Riat guys, and this isn't just Riat, we're gonna say Riat and We Knife Co. You know, if you like those, but basically you don't care about spending a little extra money, but you wanna get a lot for your money. You wanna make sure you're getting the, the creme de la creme for your money, the best quality, parts, build quality, everything for as little money as possible, but it's still going to cost you, right? It's going to cost you to get that high quality, but you're not, you're not, you're not selling a liver or a kidney to get it, right? So if that's you, if that's you, then you're going to freaking love Mercedes the move. 
Mercedes move is a bit of a, it's, I, I want to say tropical a little bit, but it's not really tropical. It, it's a very, it is a marine type fragrance, so it does have some green notes in it and stuff. It's sweet. It's sweet in a good way. Sweet. It's got, uh, it's a very summertime fragrance. It's a powerhouse though. This stuff does linger and, and it lasts a long time, but I got to say, I've gotten tons of compliments. People freaking love it. I've recommended it a bunch. People that have gotten it freaking love it. Um, it is, excuse me, the top notes are apple blossom, grapefruit, and cardamom. The middle notes are sea notes, salt, geranium, and the base notes are tonka bean and balsam fir. So it's a semi-sweet, very fresh, shower jelly type of fragrance. Um, a little vanilla, a little bit of floral, a little bit of citrus. It's got a lot of little like hints in it of things, but it's a marine type of fragrance, a watery type of fragrance that, that absolutely is a powerhouse. Like I said, this stuff, it, yeah, when you spray it, you're, you're going you're gonna to smell really good, like really, really good, but not in a bad way, in a good way, meaning like that it's mass appealing. Everybody loves it. I, I have yet to find anybody who smelt this and said, no, I don't like that. Everybody who smells this, actually, they, they want it because it, it is that good. And one more, one last one, and this one's going to sum it all up because if you're the guy who likes everything, you like your slip joints, you like your reats, you like your bench mage, you like your spider coats, you like everything. All knives. All knives the same. You freaking love them. And that's you. That's you. You don't have nothing set in stone where this is all I buy. This is, you know, it's whatever I like. If that's you, I promise you, you're going to love this fragrance. And that's Versace Dylan Blue. Versace Dylan Blue is one of the best fragrances of all time, in my opinion. I've watched this fragrance beat, I don't even know how many other fragrances. Like they do street interviews where they have people try different fragrances. And this thing, nine times out of 10, beats everything. And even like other banger fragrances. It's super affordable. Like it's crazy affordable. And it is a powerhouse. This thing is beast mode. It will last 12, 16, 18 hours easily. And it is so, so good. To me, this is one of the best smelling fragrances that personally for me that I can think of when I think of like a fragrance to, to recommend a man, I almost always recommend this one first just because I know they're going to love it. And I know the women are going to love it. Like I said, this is one in the street interviews were mostly women that were picking this. And this is again, it's an Ambroxan fragrance. Yeah, it's an Embroxin fragrance. So the top notes are Calabrian bergamot, the water notes, grapefruit, fig leaf, and then the middle notes is Ambroxin. It's an Ambroxin bomb. Ambroxin, black pepper, patchouli, violet leaf, papyrus, and then the base notes are incense, musk, tonka bean, and saffron. It is a... A very blue fragrance. I mean, as you can see, you can see the bottle, right? Um, it's got amber on top, some citrus, some fresh spicy, some muskiness, some woodiness, a little bit of spice. I like to say that it kind of reminds me of like, it kind of smells like it has a black cherry top note. And they don't list black cherry anywhere, but that's what I kind of feel like. But when I say that, it kind of has a hint of spice. So it's like a black cherry and a hint of spice. And then the rest is just a very blue shower jelly type of fragrance. You got that Ambroxan in there that just makes it just such a... This is my most rec recommended fragrance. Like I said, this is my most because of the fact that it is so versatile. And that's the thing is the guys that like any type of knife, they're going to be pretty versatile, right? So this is the most versatile fragrance I can possibly think of. Summer, winter, freezing cold, super hot, doesn't matter. It's going to do well. Just the mixture that's in there, the way it's all balanced and put together, to me, it's an absolute masterpiece. Um, I, you know, very rarely will, will you, can you put 
multiple fragrances together and have somebody smell it and then this one lose. It's just, it's that damn good. And the thing is, is that it's so affordable. It doesn't even make sense because the quality, what's in this bottle, the, the, the concentration and just everything that's in here, you, you would expect this to be a two, $300 fragrance. Um, but you know, it is a, a mass appealing fragrance. So it is definitely, they definitely did their job. And this is definitely one that, like I said, everybody's gonna love. And especially if you're the type of guy who likes all different kinds of knives, no matter the brand, no matter anything, you just like what you like and you like different stuff. Check out Versace Dylan Plu. I promise you, this is, you're gonna absolutely love this one. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.